Ooh, that one's kind of hot. That's really nice. I thought I'd like this one more, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be dad. Not a real dad though. Everybody relax. Just a doggo dad. Dude, this is sick. So I couldn't decide what kind of collar I wanted. So I bought two. I bought like a regular one, which actually this is like super heavy. They're obviously for when uh, she grows up. This one was sick, but I didn't know how I felt about it. So I bought it and then I just bought a backup. So now we got two. We don't even need them right now, but I bought them anyways. No. This is sick though. I really like this. This is so pretty. 10 out of 10. I don't even know what to say. I can't even contain myself. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. So since I can remember, I have been saying I wanted to get a dog. Like since we lived out west, there's always a reason we couldn't. Whatever the case was, we could never get a dog. And as soon as we got this house, I was like, yo, now, now is my time to get me a little puppy. And we kind of like... We had a couple experiences where we, we wound up going to look at dogs that were like sketchily like puppy farms, I think is what they call it, right? Is it a puppy farm? Look at you, <laughs> walking a fake dog. We had a couple weird run-ins and then we found a super reputable breeder. Seven weeks ago, we bought a dog. Exactly right now, the puppy just turned eight weeks old and today is our day. Today is dog day. Ooh, I can't, I'm so excited. What's her name? Oh, we missed it. Where is it? Welcome home, Lucille. <laughs> <laughs> from Bobby. Her name is not Lucille. No, it's not Lucille. We don't have a name for her yet, so I've been just like calling her Suzanne, Lucille, all the stupid names that Courtney hates. So this is as unprepped as we are. We got a, a leash, collars for when she grows up, and then we got a harness, but it's not here yet. For Christmas, my brothers and female companions got us a little toy, a little bag of treats, another toy, socks. We got a rope, we got more snacks, and we got us a little bed, dude. We're gonna get a that's what I'm talking about! Okay, I guess we go. You wanna go? I'm so excited. So this is super weird for us because COVID, we never have actually met the dog yet. No. <laughs> Which is like, could sound sketchy. There was puppies and we met them when they were like six days old on FaceTime. Yeah. And we have FaceTimed them a bunch of times, like even to pick which one we wanted, we FaceTimed and just watched them play. We literally, we, we were just like, it sounds super weird to say, but we were on FaceTime with them for like an hour, just watching the puppies play, like doing the same thing you would do with a puppy, you go pick it up, play with it, whatever, see how it is. But we just did the whole thing over FaceTime. This is not only like exciting, but also like the extra exciting because we've never even yeah. actually met her yet. I never, like I never even thought of it that way. Yeah. Like, it's extra exciting because like normally you meet your pup and you're like, oh, it's 6 a.m. we're gonna go get her and she's ours, but no, we haven't even met her yet. Yeah. In 600 meters, the destination is on your left. I'm gonna poop my pants. I'm so fired up. Okay, here we are. Right. Ah! Hi! Hi! Come here! No? You got lots of work to do, huh? Are you ready to go home or what? I'm not ready! Dude, I'm so excited! Look how pretty she is! Oh my god. Wow, I feel like we just got so much information. So much has happened. The girl says that she's good for driving. She doesn't ever like pee or anything go wrong in the car, but if she were to like just start sh all over the place it would be my problem even though I'm driving so instead I'm gonna make it my problem if I'm not driving Corny's just gonna drive home let's just get home and then we can we can tell the peeps all about you we have a dog <laughs> You got 10 minutes in you? I know, you're getting antsy. You got 10 minutes in you before you pee. She can't let you out any more than I can. We're too close to pull over, okay? You promise you'll make it? <laughs> Look, we got a couple smokers. That's how you know we're almost home. Are you pumped or what? You like snowmobiles? Let's go, let's go. She spent the last like 10 minutes of our drive just whimpering and like running around in circles. I think she has to pee. Look at this place. We got you a house. We got you a forest. You can plant a forest and a big, big lake over there. You do whatever you gotta do here. I'm gonna close the gate. All right, well she peed and she pooped right away and she was whimpering for like 15 minutes in the car So it's good. It means she already has like that little bit. Oh my god. She <sighs> Licked my lens. It means she already has like a little bit of bladder control I guess which is really cool We're not supposed to let her be outside for too too long because she's still really little and like just because it's the middle of winter when we got her Her belly's like naked. Welcome to the crib Welcome to the crib. Our yellow walls man. Our yellow walls are gonna make her look ugly. They make you look ugly <laughs> Thanks. Ready? Boom Welcome home. Check out the digs. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Check 
Okay, so this, this is Frankie? I think. Maybe? Maybe Frankie? <laughs> we called her different names the whole way home yesterday, like when we were driving I was just spitting names at her. And honestly, like we have a lot of names that we thought would be really cool and they just, I don't know, they taste weird. They just don't match her. Yeah, right? So we thought Frankie's like a pretty cool name for like a girl. So this is maybe Frankie. So she's eight weeks old as of literally today. She's a purebred Australian Shepherd. So she's a red Merle. I know Australian Shepherds have like different kinds. She has like the gray coat with all these little brown spots. And then her face is like super pretty. It's got all these little like beige and brown colors all over them. And you can see she's got one eye. This one's green. And then this one is like blue, but like the top half already went green. But she said it's probably gonna stay like that, which is super cool. Cause it's not even like one full blue eye. It's like really unique. Mm -hmm. Are you sleeping on us? Yeah, she might. What the heck is with you? You just sleep, sleep, sleep. My thing was like, I want a dog that when I open the back door of my truck, she can just jump right in. And I wanted her to be super smart. I don't smart know. dogs. Yeah, I just like smart dogs. So Australian Shepherds are like notoriously extremely Extremely smart and she'll be reasonably sized and every time you look at her she looks different like this side of her and this side of her are completely different I think she's so awesome in here now. This is perfect We literally kept off filming this yesterday because we really wanted to show you guys like her proper coloring and you just couldn't see it Last night when it got dark, right? No, not a toy. We're gonna try and crate train her It helps with their anxiety and stuff especially these dogs Australian Shepherds are super, um, their nickname is Velcro dogs because they really like like human attachment and uh, they get like really bad anxiety issues and separation issues if you don't properly train them. So we're gonna crate train her at first, definitely make sure that she's all perfect on that aspect. And last night we put her in the crate. She basically fell asleep like pretty soon after we got home. They kept her up all day yesterday, like bathing her and getting her ready. And then we took her home and just like pooped her out right away. But last night she went in the crate and she literally slept. Like I laid beside the crate for like 15 minutes yeah, to get her to calm down. Was cool with being in there, but if we tried leaving, she was not cool with that. Yeah. So we just like laid with her. And Until she started falling asleep. As soon as she was even like awake, but like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. She was cool if we walked away. But dude, she's killing it so far. She's doing awesome. You excited? You excited? You excited to meet Wiles? Make sure you be nice to him. Hey, make sure you be nice to Wiles, okay? We're home! What's up, peeps? <laughs> oh. Thanks, go say hi. Bro, <laughs> yo, congrats, guys. Thanks, brother. So happy for you guys. What a wicked Adam of the family. Right? Say hi. Say nice, puppy. Say nice, puppy. Yeah. yeah. You guys are gonna be besties. Yo, I'm so happy for you. She's pretty cool, this eh? It's like a dangerous thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Frankie, come on in here. This is gonna be your new favorite place. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good girl. Nice. Frank, check it. This is gonna be your house, okay? We're gonna get you a little a little bed for right here. Until we get you a bed, you're gonna be the little LS princess, alright? Wiles is like, what the heck man? I want the attention, put me on the engine. Frankie, come here. <laughs> yeah. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Stop <laughs> looking my face. No, dude, stop. That's my mic. Bro, you're gonna fuck. Up. Dude, she goes on these like puppy tantrums. She'll be like super chill all day and then she'll go on like this rampage where she's just being like a puppy, chewing everything, eating everything she can find. And then after like 10 minutes is gone. Now she's drinking her whole bowl of water. So she's gonna have to pee immediately after she goes to bed. So I was reading that having like the blankets over the crate would actually kind of like help her kind of feel like a little den area. At least that's what I understood from it. But what's funny is what ended up happening was I put these over here because it was like daytime and she was napping and I'm like, oh, give her some darkness. That's what I was thought I should do. And what she did, moving from the bed to here because the blanket only comes to here, she literally fell asleep with her head in like the tiny little gap where there was no blanket. So she obviously does not like that. She would prefer to see what's going on outside, which is kind of funny. This is what we had to do last night, isn't it? I have to sit here for like 10 minutes with her in the cage. And as soon as she realizes that like I'm not moving and it's chill time, She'll start to chill, and once she starts to chill, she's pretty gold for the night. Right, Frank? Even though right now you're going crazy? Yeah. 